Gods is uh what we're gonna play. So old SNES game. Old SNES game. Here we go. <laughs> Michael was a Sega child. Yes, yes. I think a lot of us were. I was both. Uh, I used to trade in my systems at like uh, pawn shops in East LA, and then freaking uh, get whichever one I wanted at that time. At the time, I ended up liking the Super Nintendo a little bit more, but nowadays I like the Genesis more. A lot of stuff happening. You can't get that gem there? Nope. What just happened? I took a teleport. Oh. I had the Nintendo, but not Super. NES was my first system. It didn't uh, last, though. I had it for less than a year, and then I got a Super Nintendo, and then that's when I started trading back and forth. That's why I don't have a lot of a lot of uh, memories with the NES. It didn't last. So this dude just throws a whole bunch of like little knives. Yep. Hmm. Stop it. What's wrong? Oh, the controller locked on the left position. I was like, stop it. Oh. That's weird. For anyone wondering, yeah, we are using uh, emulators to do all this, but uh, if we had the right capture device, we could do it on the real thing. I have a whole bunch of old systems. It also allows us to do a lot of new stuff, too. How many worlds are there? Uh, five? Five? So you're already two-fifths of the way done? No, no, no. There's five big worlds separated into a bunch of different sections. Okay, how many sections per... Three, and then uh, it varies by, by the dungeon. Oh. Sometimes you get three, sometimes you get four. Oh, okay. So there's five worlds with like three parts in each, or four parts in each. Yeah, roughly. So anyway, I think it's anywhere between 15 and 20 levels. Okay. That doesn't add up. Well, kind of.
Jesus Christ, there's so much happening in this fucking game. Oh, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> Then you collect something and you get a freaking news ticker out of it. supposed to be? Uh, an Olympian. Okay. That's why there's two of you there. Is that like a mid-boss or something? No, it's the boss of the world. Okay. So buy an extra man. Buy a chicken leg. Let's go. That boss was in Rolling Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> sure the hell was. Falling. Really? Mm hmm. Freaking platformer with fall damage. What is this, Bubsy? common thing in this game. I can see that. I mean, you have a life bar, but it's not that impressive. That ain't worth it. <laughs> Thank you. 
I can't tell when you teleport and when you don't. <laughs> well, the big... The, it just the big... It seems it's like, okay, you're here, so you'll teleport now, like, if you say so. Yeah, well, the big golden stones are, are, are teleporters. Oh. Sometimes it just looks like you go into doors, though. Yeah, no, uh, you go into doors and you warp to a different room. And then... Um... When you go into doors, you teleport. There's teleport keys that um, open up the special doors that are meant to teleport you to a different part of the the dungeon where there's like either treasure or some sort of event to do. But they don't look like doors. They just they just look like some area. Yeah, no, I know. Kind of drawn a fucking door. This makes sense. since the last time I checked it. Oh, okay. I keep looking down at it and make sure. Oh, okay. Oh, hold on. I can't think of anything to say about this game. <laughs> <laughs> it's just something that's happening in front of me at this point. It's 
so there's a secret room I'm missing, and I don't think in my entirety of playing this game I've ever gotten it then. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can change that shit up a little bit. Oops. <laughs> nope, fuck it, we're over it. <laughs> Not gonna deal with that. Alrighty then. Oh, let's see what I get away with. Start talking about something else, then. Go for it, dude. You ever play The Witcher? No, have not played The Witcher. One, Actually, two, I played the first one. You played the first one. Yep. Like it? Yeah. I had no qualms with it. Cool. I tried it. Couldn't get into it. it seemed kind of simple. Uh, it's simple unless you put it on the mode where you had to use the outcome. I mean, like, it, like the mechanics were awfully simple. Oh, uh, I, I could see that. It's just like my issue with like, and, and everybody says that the game's good, but I can't stand Dragon Age. Hmm. The, right. the very first game just bugs the shit out of me. The, the combat's slow, the takeoff is slow. Everybody says I have to give it to like the, the cause, cause there comes a point like in the very beginning of the game where they're like, okay, we want you to go like get the, get the treaties of the, the three kings signed. And I got one treaty, but everybody's like, oh no, no, no. You have to like really give it to like about your second treaty. And then all of a sudden the game gets really, really good and all this other stuff. And I'm like, I shouldn't have to play like a grip of hours for the game to be good. Yeah, you get like what was the number? I think I think I said that you get like three. You get three hours, and if you're not interesting by then, then forget. I can see that, and that's only if it's a long game. You know, if it's a short game, then it's less. And see, I really liked Dragon Age 2. Yeah. Nobody likes Dragon Age 2. Right. I like Dragon Age 2 because the combat was faster. Right. I have Dragon Age 2. I haven't really tried it yet, though. I just loaded it up real quick to make sure it worked. <laughs> I played a rogue, and now I was happy with it. I do want to try the new one, the new Witcher. Oh, the Witcher 3? Yeah, looks fun. They had it on a Green Man Gaming. I, my computer can't run it, dude. Um, I actually have the Witcher 2, and I was thinking, well, I could probably try that out. That one also looked good. Um, I'm going to have to mess with it because my computer cannot run it, at least well. Play it at max settings, and even though it's like a four-year-old game or something like that, uh, it chugs, like, we're talking like 50, I mean, fi uh, 15 frames per second. Oh, wow. And I put it on medium, and it's barely making 30. So. If I'm going to play that game and play it well, I'm going to have to mess with it. My other option is, because they gave it for free not too long ago, I have Witcher 2 on the Xbox 360.
So, if I do give it a shot, I have both. And I always have the 360 version in case I decide I just don't want to mess around with the PC settings. 360 will just work. Yeah. But uh, to that effect, I might as well bring this up. Um, there was an article saying that The Witcher 3 uh, is an example of video games having race issues. Race issues. You know, there's not oh, is this that popular debate that's going on right now? Um, Polygon uh, wrote an article saying that there's not enough racial diversity in video games, and Bullshit. it made Witcher 3 the prime example of that. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So, do I need to go ahead and, like, just, you know, cite it out there for everybody? Like, let, let's take World of Warcraft, for example. We got pandas, which weren't supposed to be in there, but, you know, the Chinese got over it after the whole file thing was leaked, so now, you know, pandas are in there kicking ass. I played a panda. I ain't got no shame in that. I played a healer. It's a thing. Now, um, my biggest issue with that is we have pandas, trolls, goblins, orcs, uh, taurins. I really don't mentors. know where you're going with this. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm saying, like, no, this is the thing, dude. If there's not enough racial diversity, I think it's bullshit. I really do. Like... I still don't know where you're going with this. Oh, no, because what, what I'm saying is is that you can't fault a game. For one thing, it all depends on the period in which it's written. I mean, like, I, I only played through Assassin's Creed 2, but, I mean, like, you didn't see me crying about fucking no black people in, like, Renaissance Italy. Right. I mean, no one cried then. Because right. and, and the argument that they're probably using is that oh it's a period game so yeah. Well, here's the thing. Um, the Witcher Three is based in Slavic mythology. Now, the author of the piece argued that this isn't an excuse for it because since there are other uh, species in that game, you know, it has not just human beings, right? It's a, it's it's a fantasy game. Yeah. So it has those different things. It argued that because of that, though, it's not based in reality. It's only based in mythology. And because of that, it wouldn't hurt them to just make a few changes. Because it's not already not being realistic. It's saying, if you could have flying wyvern around, then you can have a black person. That's fine. I think that's a sound argument. Okay. Some people are arguing that. I argue that that's actually not a good idea. To have a black person in a game? No. To have a black person in this world. The reason being is, uh, the reason why he argued that it would be okay is because there's a thing called race bending. And race bending is when you place a, you, you cast a role that normally would be played by a certain ethnicity, but is instead played, um, uh, played by a different ethnicity. Okay. So, like, Johnny Storm in the new uh, Fantastic Four. Okay. They have a black dude and normally a white role. Okay. Right? Yeah. So he's saying, well, even though this is a world based on Slavic mythology, you could have just played some a uh, uh, person of color, of any color, no, not just black, in there, and it would have been fine. Because, you know, if you have all these other things and, it doesn't, and that's not real, then what's the harm in putting a black person in? I argue because the world is based in Slavic mythology. Therefore, it is written for the Slavic ideal. And yes, for the people watching this, if you do the secret about getting the jewel, the dragon will never go past the jewel. <laughs> well, anyway, the point is, though, is that you, you put that person of color into a world where, in a world that's not written with them in mind. So what happens is you have a black person there of color, but it, they don't act like a black person would. Not someone with the different kinds of cultures and experiences that they would have. So, so is the it, argument based off racial stereotyping? 
Not necessarily, but the thing is, though, is that not all people are the same either. No, no, you're absolutely right. So, I, um, for example, I actually use Assassin's Creed as an example. I said in Assassin's Creed 1, all the worlds are uh, based around Arabic uh, culture. So all the people in the cities, like um, Jerusalem and... Um, um, I can't remember the other two. Uh, Damascus, that was one of them. Um, all the, like, the NPCs are all Arabic. And they all have, like, Arabic ways about them. They speak English because they, so that we can understand them. But aside from that, they have Arabic dialects and all that stuff, right? Mm -hmm. If you replace some of them, or all of them, with, say, black people, they would all still act Arabic. Because the world itself is their personality. They are all still Arabic. Therefore, you don't actually have a black person. You just have a palette swap. They're not being actually represented at all. Okay. So that was my argument so for that. So, I, I follow you to a T, but I'm failing to see what the main, like, the grandiose argument is. The grandiose argument is that you're not actually representing them. Miss, okay. miss, not miss. If you want representation, then it should be accurate. Oh, okay. So the argument is that I understand it, you it, want. Um, um, I understand that you want representation, but you uh -huh. can't place it in a place where it doesn't make any sense because that's misrepresentation. Still. Oh no! You're exactly. Fail, you're you're failing to do what you set out to do in the first place. Yeah. That was one of my arguments because that was one of the points that they were making. Um, another point they were making, and this one I actually did not comment on because I feel like you have to play the game in order to say something about it, mm -hmm. is that the other species in Witcher 3 kind of are looked down on mm -hmm. uh, amongst like the human um, people. Mm -hmm. And he was saying that this, in a way, is offensive to other races because if these guys are looked down on and other races aren't even shown how how what does that say for how other races would be treated as in this world it sounds to me like people need to shut the fuck up and quit reaching because that's that's what it is like it, it is that one looks like a stretch but i didn't say anything because i don't know how no, they're no, actually no, 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 treated like, in no, the game even then dude like there's just a fine line where you are legitimately reaching to the point where it's like damn dude like all, all you're doing right now like I understand what you're saying completely, mm -hmm. but as I sit here listening to you, you give the other side's argument, mm -hmm. they're reaching, far reaching. Well, a lot of people say that because it, the thing is, though, is that this is an article from Polygon, and Polygon has the reputa reputation of clickbaiting. Which. In other words, I'm going to say something solely because I want you to click on it. Controversy for the sake of controversy. Yes. So they are the Rush Limbaugh slash Howard Stern of fucking online articles. This is how they are viewed. I am not a frequent reader of Polygon, therefore I don't see them that way because uh, how the fuck do I know? Yeah. But, um, this, so this is like the very first article I've actually bothered to read from the site. And if this is what they're going with, most of the time, I can kind of see it. I even see the point that he's making. Like, for example, the bottom line of the article is we need more racial diversity in video games. And I agree. I don't think there's enough. But. Okay, but on that same note, if we were to do, like, let's say we go ahead and we do a period game, okay? Mm -hmm. And let like a, a Assassin's Creed uh, Black Flag, for example. Mm -hmm. So would everybody be completely legitimate, okay, with a huge chunk of black people being smuggled over on a boat for slavery? I think it'd be controversial, but actually, yes, we had a game like Resident Evil Five with the white dude shooting a whole bunch of black people, and we ended up being okay with that after a while. Yeah, but but you see that that's my point though, is that are people going to indeed be comfortable with that? For one thing, you have to accept it for what it is. It's a fucking game. It, it, and I can understand the argument of, okay, yeah, cool, we need cultural diversity. But if you want to start playing the game of wanting cultural diversity, then everybody better be down and willing to accept whatever comes along with it. You can't have it both ways. If somebody comes up with a period game where all of a sudden there's a bunch of black people and, and maybe they'll drop a couple of N-bombs. 
If they drop a couple end bombs, is the community gonna spaz? Because it is racial diversity. No, actually, that's that's a good point. There was Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. That happened a lot in that game, and everyone freaked out over the sex. <laughs> Not that. Yeah, everybody freaks out over the sex, but okay. I, I watched the wife play GTA 5, okay, before we went out and got it so I can play with her a little bit. And mm -hmm. flat out, dude walks in, and, and I know we're probably going to get in trouble for this, but whatever. Don't say it. No, dude. If, if you... Don't okay, no. say it. We just started if Twitch. You, no, okay. If you in a game... Can flat out say the word nigga. God damn it, Don. And have it be okay. Then it should no. It that that's that's the that's reality, dude. I don't care. That gets you banned on Twitch. Shut up. Just say ninja. My ninja. Yes, it's funnier and it's better. Or just say n word. So now, rather than have cultural diversity, we have to have convenient censorship. This isn't my rules. This is Twitch. So if I streamed GTA 5, it'd be completely okay. Actually, yes, but there are some games you can't. They have a ban list. Do they really? Yes. I don't make the stupid rules, Don. <laughs> well, damn. Now I know who to write my letter of complaint to. Because that's stupid. I hated those beggars in Assassin's Creed 1. Yeah, they were annoying. Uh, please, sir, do you have any money? Yeah, yeah. And then you'd get in trouble if you did anything to them. Yeah, I know. Anyway... Yeah, I'm bringing up this point, but I don't make the fucking rules, all right? <laughs> no, no, I, I follow you, but I'm going to flat out say, dude, though, that's a bunch of bullshit. If we're going to have cultural diversity in games and everybody wants that represented, then the streaming community and the entire YouTube community and everybody else better get ready to accept every racial slur ever. Well, yeah, but you can't be saying that. Like, even with freaking... Like the games, they can say it, but even then, they could say when they're, when enough's enough. Like there's that's why there's a ban list. There's a game that came out recently called Hatred, where you're supposed to run around shooting civilians. Really? It's a it's a dude. It's it's a twin stick shooter. You run, oh okay. You you run around uh -huh. and you're supposed to cause mayhem until eventually the cops come after you, and then they're the real you know threat. Although there are some civilians who will you know try to fight back. Okay, I follow. Okay, but because you're basically a spree murderer. Mm -hmm. That game is banned. You cannot play that on Twitch. There's a game that's a dating simulator called Honey Pop, and I heard about that. Yeah, that it's it's actually not bad because it's like a, actually a puzzle game that's really like good and actually well thought out. Mm -hmm. And that's how you go on your dates. <laughs> For some reason, the dating huh. is a puzzle game, but because it has a lot of um, sexually explicit pictures of anime girls. Okay. And I mean like. They drew everything, and they show everything, and they're, they're in provocative uh, poses. Attire. No, not the, not just attire, but poses. Okay. Like, you get a certain picture after you make it with a girl. Okay. And you kind of see the aftermath. Okay. And it's porn. Okay. That's banned. You can't play that game. There's even a censored version that went, nope. Nope, because they also know that's easily hackable. So they went, nope, you just can't play it. Hmm. And I mentioned the different versions because the uncensored version of San Andreas is banned also. San Andreas has an uncensored version? The uncensored version was the original version in which someone can hack into it and show the sex scenes that weren't done yet. They, 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 they didn't put them into the game proper, but they just left the code in because they never thought anyone would get to it. But they did. So there was a second edition released with that code completely taken out. And that one is fine. And that's the one most people have too. Yeah, that, that's cool. So, there you go. And by the way, when I mean the sex scenes weren't done, I mean they still have their clothes on. Okay. <laughs> but they still ban banned it because you have to press like the buttons in rhythm and... They're still doing all the poses and everything, even though clearly nothing's going in because one, they didn't render it, and two, the clothes are still on. But uh -huh. yeah, so that's look. You just have to roll with it, okay? We didn't make the platform. <laughs> no, no, but but I'm gonna go ahead and just say that's flat out bullshit. I don't like it either, but I mean, here's the way I look at it, okay? In terms of Twitch, I actually think they're kind of lenient. Their ban list is like. 15 games long. Pull it up. No, I'm, I am I have to look at the, the chat. Oh. 
I was gonna say, pull it up on your phone. I wanna know what's banned. I don't know where the hell my freaking phone is! <laughs> Twitch ban list. Look that up. Oh, you died. Are we done then? No. <laughs> We're not done by far. What are you doing? I forgot they don't have E's in here. MGB? That's password. Oh, okay. Okay, what is the ban list? Oh, no? Well, maybe they took it out. Oh, yeah, BMX XXX. That's just the the, the Tony Hawk style uh, BMX game where you play with naked women. Okay. I don't know. Honey Pop, that's the puzzle dating sim game. Yeah. What? Oh, Sakura. Sakura Spirit. Oh, yeah, that's actually another X rated dating sim game. Sounds about right. Yep. Uh, that's probably the same thing. <laughs> that's because everyone hacks ah, in there and puts giant dogs in there. Life. <laughs> yeah. It's because everyone hacks into there and just. just does whatever. It's actually almost like a dating sim now. Kobo Rut? I don't know what that is. What else? Hatred, yeah, that was the twin stick shooter. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, Indigo Prophecy has a uncensored version that was released in Europe only, and that version is probably banned. That was an adults-only game, that's why. And it's about making a snuff film. So. <laughs> okay, well there you go. See, I'm not, I'm not crazy about, uh, I'm crazy mad about it just because it's not a long list. You basically can do whatever you want. Oh no. But, but 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 back to the main argument is that is seriously if people really want proper like dare I say racial representation mm -hmm. and actual cultural diversity and everything like that, mm -hmm. then get ready for a rise in games that you're gonna just have to accept are there. Well, here's the thing though. Okay, a lot of people think well that means you're gonna see a lot of games starring black people where they keep seeing the N word. That's not necessarily true. And the reason is is because. Guess what? There's a lot of stories that don't involve that. No, you're absolutely right. And, but we're not even hearing that stories. So that's why another argument I made, I made was, you can't put the blame on The Witcher Three in its entirety. One thing I thought that was very strange about the article was that it was blaming everything on The Witcher Three. And I'm like, I understand, like you said, in theory, there's a lot of games about that, but there's no way in hell this is The Witcher Three's cross to bear. Oh no, definitely not. You know, uh, the main reason is why aren't we getting games greenlit that star other protagonists? There's a reason why all the protagonists are white. There's a reason why all the protagonists are white with skinhead haircuts, even. That's true. All protagonists in most uh, uh, AAA games look the same. Yeah. You're hell. You can even ar argue that you're not even in, even getting that much diversity in terms of of white people stories. Well, all I know is, is I can sit there and reference. I, I can reference one black character right now mm -hmm. that actually had every single value that is a complete counterculture to the way most black individuals are represented in video games, and that was Saz from FF13. Sure. Like, you saw it, there's no mom, the proper father figure, who did his best, who was actually really respectful, mm -hmm. and everything else. So, that is complete counterculture to what's represented in video games today. Reference, Grand Theft Auto. Sure. So, I mean, if you want to see a lot more of that, then fine, but, I mean, I, I personally have never been bothered by it. If you want to make a game that's all... Anti-Latino, for all I care. It's like, yeah, it's cool, dude. I'm probably going to play that shit anyway because I, I find it to be funny. But I'm willing to accept that. 
I just like something different. Yeah, no, no, difference is good. Change is good. And even though, like, like I said before, that you know, they don't. Um, if you just stick up uh, someone of a different ethnicity in a role that's played by different another ethnicity, you can't do that because they're not, it doesn't show off their changes and everything like that. Um, that doesn't mean it changes the character entirely, you know. Yeah. Uh, a freaking Mexican that's in the game is not going to be like, what a lazy. Yeah. Not going to be like that. He could be a lot like the character that was going to be put in there in the, in the first place, but they are going to be a little different. Okay, but but if I but if I had to jump on any sort of bandwagon and attack any sort of like um how I'd say art because that's basically what you're attacking is art at this point. You're not really attacking a, a game developer per se or a game. You're attacking the concept of art because that's what a video game is. Sure. So at least that's my personal opinion. So. I think your video games are art, of course. Okay. So if that's the case, then I want not only paintings, but I want film to represent more Latino roles that don't involve a labor worker, a person that speaks broken English, or a person that takes a constant barrage of insults for no real authentic reason. Okay. I mean, not, dude. I mean, if I have to play the same whiny bitching card that anybody else does, when I look at the movie, f like, Friday, for example, funny black comedy. Okay? Sure. It's what it is. I find it amusing. Whatever. But you get into next Friday, which stars uh, a bunch of Mexicans, and the Mexicans just happen to be gangbangers. And even that, stupid gangbangers. And what is it they're smuggling? They're smuggling money inside of stolen car parts. It's like, okay. Because, you know, you go to, like, any ghetto Mexican neighborhood, and the joke is, you know, you don't leave your, like, don't leave your car there because it's going to end up on cinder blocks. <laughs> I think that's retarded. I mean, but you don't really see me bitching about it until now. Well, my way of looking at it is, well, I want to see all the stories, though. I want to see the story about the gangbanger. I want to see the story about the, the Hispanic that is actually not a gangbanger. I want to see everything in between and beyond. Exactly. So. And that is a fair and valid argument. And then actually, because of that, then it becomes less like stereotypical and all that stuff because now you have other examples. The problem with with um, representation is that it's comparative. Yeah, I can see that. Like, um, okay, you know Nicki Minaj? Yes. Okay, you know that song she did a while ago, l last year as a matter of fact, Anaconda? The one that was a spoof of like, or sounded like a spoof of Sir Mix-a-Lot? It was just a straight rip, rip, yes. Okay. That song is trash, but here's the thing. Everyone was like, this is way too sexual and it's way too demeaning to women. Okay. Okay, because it's, it's, she's rapping about... How she likes to give it up, and her boy, and she likes her her boyfriend guy because he dealt drugs. Okay. Okay. She decided, and a lot of her fans did as well, saying that it was actually feminist because she was actually in control. She was doing it because she wanted to. She wasn't doing it because some man told her to. This is just the way she she likes to represent herself. Don't uh, even get me started on the feminism argument. And I went okay. In a way, she's right. Feminist includes being able to do whatever the hell you want, and that's including being stupid. <laughs> that just sounds to me like being fucking human. Doesn't sure. really sound feminist. Sure, like, but like I really, I really do hate that the 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 core values of feminism are represented the way that they are. Well, there's different ways to be feminist, you know, and being stupid is one of them but the the basic idea is that no one you, you can't be told what to do by society or a man or anything by that you should have the same abilities to make up your own mind as a man does mm -hmm. and we should all be equal and that's fine and that includes being like i said stupid yeah but I said, uh, okay and, and i know it's gonna look bad because i'm a guy but i'm hard pressed to find a situation where a female is authentic authentically oppressed 
Oh, that's not true at all, dude. Not of her own... Not of her own choice. That's not true at all, dude. Oh, Women are oh, constantly spin impressed. It, no, spin it to me. Like, that's what I'm asking you I can you give to you spin so many me. fucking examples. Just pick one. A, a girl can't wear a tank top in school because it's revealing. Okay. Not, it doesn't matter what the weather is. And it's distracting. Okay, so we're, we're gonna it's argue... Dis it's distracting okay. to, to horny guys. That's not their problem. That's the thing. Yeah. Insta instead of persecuting the guys for being distracted by a, w a girl just existing, uh -huh. the woman has to change how she dresses because of what someone else is doing. Okay, I, I, I can see that argument. That's a valid argument. Okay, I mean, what the hell is that? The, re the reason why I bring that up is because it's getting hot and that everyone is already gearing up for this problem to happen. Oh, yeah, I know. I can, I can imagine. Right? Because, I mean, that makes sense, right? Oh, it's getting hot. I should wear something that's less, that has less fabric on me. Like a tank top or shorts. Right? <laughs> no one says anything of a guy were to do that. A guy can wear sleeveless shirts like you're wearing now and no one will bat an eye. Okay. But a woman will do it and in school she'll be, she'll be told to change because it's distracting. Or it's too revealing. They tell you, you know, you have to have your skirt or your shorts a certain length. No one does that for guys. In, yeah. pu in public, outside of school, a girl is dressed like that and they're judged as being easy or too revealing. No one thought thinks it's just hot. Or, hell, it doesn't even have to be hot. They just wanted to dress that way. Mm -hmm. But they're criticized for it. It happens all the time, dude. Okay, yeah, I see that, but I, I, I see guys criticized like that, too. So, I mean, that's, what, that's why I'm saying, like, well, I'm Well, neither is good. A, oh, no, I'm not saying one's better than the other. No, don't get me wrong. Yeah. What I'm saying is that, you know, as far as, like, Damn. oppressive things go, mm -hmm. everybody's oppressed. I don't really think you need an entire movement about it. Yes, you do. Because okay, even, okay, even okay, here's the okay, thing, well, though. Okay, then here's the other argument, then. Why is it that... Oh, damn it, I messed that up. <laughs> Hit the. No, I'll, I'll just die and I'll, just, I'll put, put the password in. Okay. But, okay. So, if that's the case, then why is it only as of recently ha have males been allowed to even try to prove the concept of rape? That's not right either. That's oh, not no, right either. But, and that's but, something but, that, but that's like one of my counter arguments is that, you know, there's huge oppressions on both races. Uh, not races, but both genders. Yeah. There really is. It's not like there's a, a glorified man sitting somewhere saying, I'm going to do whatever it takes to fuck over every single female in the world. Some people don't do it why, realizing what why they're doing. Are you registering like that? Stop it. There we go. That was weird. Some people don't realize what it is that they're doing. Oh, yeah. I, I could see that too, okay. but, you know, like I'm well, saying, dude. The, the only thing, um, one thing that's good about like society that nowadays is that if you're sexist you're at least supposed to be ashamed of it because they know it's not a good thing yeah no, whereas absolutely. before whereas before it's like i'm a man and i can do what i want who cares what the woman thinks yeah now at least there's a concept of you're not supposed to be doing that but no dude look here's the thing here's a common misconception about feminism feminism is not about uh Rising the women above the oppressive males. Then you probably Femin have a very proper and or different definition of what feminism is supposed to be. Feminism is the strive for equality towards both genders. Yeah, I'm down with that. Okay. And that, I, would, I would actually get behind that. Feminism is including that. As a matter of fact, a lot of people say that a big issue with feminism that is strictly actually for men is that... Males are not allowed to be sensitive. Yeah. That's actually a big part of it. Yeah. You know? And men are not allowed to do things that reflect what women do. For example, girls can cut their hair short. They can wear jeans now. It's not a big deal. It's not like before when you had to always wear dresses. Yeah. You know? And the reason for that is because it's okay to look like a man. It's not okay to look like a woman. A man can't go around wearing dresses. He will be seen as a cross-dresser. You know? With the exception being the kilt, of course. 
Yeah. And even that's subjective. Depending that's, on where you're at. Yeah. And the reason is, is because to look like a woman is degrading. Okay. That's not okay. A woman... Uh, a woman wearing makeup, or rather not wearing makeup, is more acceptable than a man wearing makeup. Yeah, that's true. Because... I see that. Okay, so that's not okay. Yeah. Be able to do whatever the hell you want. Yeah. It, 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 fl it flies both ways, dude. Oh, yeah. But that's not... Like, that's you presenting the argument, which is a very valid and healthy argument, I might add. Well, and a very lucid one at that. It's very well worded and well thought out. Well, there's... But there's that, but that's people the who do think like that, though. They're a that's actually what feminism is. There, you know, there's bad feminists, too. Oh, you no, know. of course. There's, there's bad with any movement of any kind anywhere. Yeah. That's, that's just a given. But see, the thing is, is, I don't know, dude, like, I can't fathom the idea of somebody out there basically saying, I can't joke with my wife because I'm oppressing her. If you're both fine with it, then that's fine. That's like, just, that's giving consent. That's giving consent. That's why technically you could beat the crap out of her during sex or something, and that's fine as long as it's consent. It's called S and M. No, no, I understand that. You know, but the modern feminist movement doesn't see it like that. No, they do. You're, you're, you're not listening to the right feminists. You're listening to bad feminists. I don't know, dude. All I know is, is that I, I think, it, and since we've already labeled them bad feminists, yeah, bad feminists turn the entire movement into one big joke. Because rather than pushing That's why for, they're bad. Rather than pushing for what they should be pushing for, which, don't get me wrong, dude, I'm all down for fucking equality. You know what I mean? Remember that, okay? Remember that. Feminism equals equality. Yeah, if no, something I, doesn't I'm, look like it's equality, that's not what feminism is. I'm, I'm all down for that. I'm 100% behind that. Mm -hmm. You have no quarrel for me about it. Do you want absolute equality? Fine. But right. that shit's got to go both fucking ways, dude. Exactly. Exactly. I mostly agree with that. The only thing is that here again, going back to like the race thing. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, men are different from women. Yeah. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Nope. Okay. There's nothing wrong with being different. It's just it should be respected equally. Oh yeah. Right. So like, say, girl wants to have time off because you know she's pregnant. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Guy doesn't get the same uh, time that the that the wife does. I think that's fine because he's not having the baby. But on that same rationale, you're basically saying that he can't be there for his wife. No, no, no. He doesn't get the same amount of time. Mm, I'm not quite following your argument. I, I follow it halfway. In other words, uh, uh, a woman will probably get I don't, I don't know what it is now a month, something like that off before she has the baby oh, okay right a guy will not get that much he will get like two or three weeks he gets less okay because he's not I having the baby that. yeah okay i can and even freaking um that's actually a good um, point for feminism too and that's a new idea for yeah. the longest time a guy would not get time off if his wife was having a baby yeah that's a new idea so and that happened because they realized oh well that's not fair because She's going to need him there. And if he wants to be there, yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah, no, I, so, I, I completely get behind that. So, that's what I mean, though. The, the point is, though, is that it's a different amount of time. Mm -hmm. That's different for obvious reasons. Because, and, the, and you have to treat it differently. Since we because have bad feminists, I don't like... And, and I may be a self-victim of that shit, but... You know, I, I kind of don't like the whole gender stereotype thing, dude. You know, I like I don't expect my wife to sit in a fucking kitchen and cook. I don't expect her to, you know, fucking every day I come home, I better have a beer and a steak status, stupid shit like that. No, nah, screw that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't expect it. Yeah. That's just dumb. No, it is dumb. But, you know, some people, they go through that. And I've heard feminists argue that. We have a comment here. In interest of fairness to Donnie, the good feminists let the bad be louder. I don't know what you mean by that. No, um, I understand that point. The good, the good feminists let the bad be louder. 
It's true. How? Huh? I, because I'll okay. That. And I know this is going to be probably one of the most fucking controversial things said tonight, but it seems to me like feminism, as it's portrayed modern anyway, modern feminists, and we've labeled them the bad feminists. No, not all modern feminists are bad. No, I mean like just the bad feminists that exist within modern feminism. Okay. They actually hurt their own movement. The good ones. Yeah, the good ones hurt their own movement. How? Because in order for you to have equality and to get a point across, then you have to stop. It, it, it's kind of like, and this might be reaching, I don't know if it you, is or you not. You are already, but continue. No, no, I'm not reaching at all. The good ones let the bad be louder because the good ones aren't sitting there and defending anything. I, I don't agree with that. I don't why not? Why, what, like when when where, was the last okay like for 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 the basis of the same argument that we're discussing right now yeah when has a quote unquote good feminist stepped in and told the bad feminist to shut the fuck up I don't know but it's not their right to police it I mean it's not, it's not the responsibility to police it though it is if you want to have a movement that works you cannot fight for equality and have the same oppressing attitude towards your quote-unquote oppressors because technically from from a, a political standpoint anyway that makes you know better than them <sighs> that doesn't make any sense let me let me uh, okay look here's the thing the only reason why it would be the f good feminists are, are helping the bad feminists be bad because they're louder would be as if they're overtaking the message and that but the common con the common conception is that is that of the bad feminist point of view rather than the good um, feminist point of view, but that's not necessarily the case. Mm -hmm. If it were, how come I know all that I do? How come I'm able to tell you what I'm doing um, about it and everything? How come now it's actually in in popular life and die piece of shit? <laughs> no, I'm listening to you. How how come it, it is that? Now in popular media, it's not controversial for a woman to say they're not a feminist. Yeah. The message has not been overtaken. No, it hasn't so, been. But but the argument that he's making is that it's not that the argument's been overtaken. It's that they do indeed like because there's no order. Okay, for example, when we had the civil rights movement, mm -hmm. and it's not in any way that they're the same thing at all. No. It's more that the concept of what the movement was, they had every which way to accomplish the goal of their movement mm -hmm. with hardly any counters to that movement. Does that make any sense? Sure. We, we didn't have, like, for example, good, peop good black people, bad black people. Where everybody's like, oh yeah, you know, we needed that segregation. No, this isn't the this isn't the boondocks. Yes, you we know, did. We, we ain't got no Uncle Ruckus. Yes, there were. There were the Black Panthers who just wanted to kill out all of the negative white people. Essentially, they were yeah, the white oppressors. Oh no, they they really were, and they also. But on that same note, the Black Panthers did do a lot of good. Mm. Granted, their their end game was completely wrong and should no way be supported. But they did a lot of good things by providing a lot of opportunities for inner city youth that weren't getting any opportunity under their quote unquote whitely suppressed system. I could argue the same thing about bad feminists. It's just that they're going about it the wrong way, and that's why they would give it a bad name. Like, I saw a movement. There's good and bad to everything. The original uh, feminist movement in the 70s was ultimately taken down because of women who were stuck in the old ways. The yeah. ERA didn't pass because of people in the mi in the middle of the country just wanting things to stay the way it was. Yeah. God damn it! I hate that. I forgot that was a crap. So, my my point is that there's good and bad in everything. Oh yeah, no, of course. But to say that the good is helping the bad, I don't see it because the only way they could they could they could help them is if they were helping them spread their bad version of the message but that's not the case that's not the case if, if you only heard the bad version then sure but typically most people hear the good version or they'll hear both really yeah but 
the good one is what ends up taking precedence. Yeah. And that's what's happened. I would say the good version of, fe of feminism, as we understand it right now, is what is prominent. Yeah, okay, I can that's see why that. it's that's why it's seen as a good thing to see a, to be a feminist typically. I mean, like, dude, don't get me wrong. Okay, the, the, the core concepts of you know feminism, such as you should be equal, you shouldn't have to degrade yourself, or you shouldn't have to edit yourself. To, you, know, you, should, you shouldn't have to do anything that you don't want to on your own accord. Oh, no, exactly. Right. You, you shouldn't have to ever feel like you're oppressed, anybody. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if, we, if all the pressure needs to be taken off in that respect, then I think all the pressure needs to be taken off men as well. And I think a lot of feminists would agree with you. Yes. I'm completely down with that. Now, now granted, the, the douchebag argument is that, you know, if, if you want to be completely equal... Then, hey, dude, I should be able to completely punch you in the face like, like you know, you would me, and yeah. have it be okay. Although I don't condone it. But I, th I, I, mean, I, I honestly understand the argument. I understand that it should. I actually do believe that it should be the same. Like, as in, if you attack me, I'm going to defend myself. Yep. There you go. Yeah. I think that's totally fine. Girl coming after me, she's got freaking knife I mean, or something. Like, I'm going to dodge I, it and punch the fuck out of her. And I mean, like, here you go too, like. When it comes to how um, and Licky and Licky says it is very controversial for a woman to say she is not a feminist. Those women receive a fuck tons of hate. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know they do. That that's for sure. Yeah. They they do indeed get that. Yeah. But see, like e even now, like as, as I think about it a little more, you know, it's like okay, it. The feminist movement then mm -hmm. needs to not be targeted towards men directly. It really doesn't. It can. It's for equality. Men are a part of that equality. Yeah, but I'm saying like their argument needs to be more within the realm of politics versus an actual gender. California, for example, is notorious for that. I don't know. That dehumanizes like, people. Like, like state legislation really does control one's relationship mm. it's okay like if me and my wife play fight right yeah. and then all of a sudden like let's say she gets a bruise oh shit you know I fucked up yeah and some douchebag wants to go out of the way to arrest me over that they can and even if she wouldn't want to press charges against me the state will full-on press charges for her because they don't know whether or not she's oppressed or abused or a victim I think they can only do that if it keeps happening but because still. then, then it's under, then it's under the idea of she is afraid for her life, and that's why she's saying that that you're not doing anything wrong. Oh yeah, no, but but that's what. And I'm saying. I would like, only, and I would only partially agree with that, just because if you were constantly giving like your wife bruises because of play fighting, I would say you're clearly doing something wrong. <laughs> yeah. That or she has paper skin and glass bones. Yeah. In which case, then stop play fighting. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but um. Nah, dude, you know what I mean? Like, that, that real real equality has to really be strived for, dude. If that's the case, then don't, um, don't emasculate a man for lack of, like we were talking about earlier. Don't, don't emasculate a man because he doesn't have an impressive career or make a shit ton of money. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if the, if the yeah, equality, that's part of it. They're yeah. like, you don't have to do that. And they going, and like, a part of it is saying a man doesn't have to be the breadwinner because if he is, then he's not gonna quote unquote let his wife uh, have a career of her own. Yeah. So it's just everyone's oppressed. Yeah. That's not okay. Oh no, it's definitely not. Exactly, but that's what I'm saying though is part of the message. That is one thing yeah, that they talk if about. Yeah, th if that's legitimately part of the feminism message, like that's really what they're striving for and representing. Sure, yeah. Then absolutely, I agree and I'll get behind it 100%. Yeah. Because equality is real equality, dude. Mm. And, it, and it has to work like that. And, and I'm saying a lot of the ideas do. And they really do. I just think that... You know, there are the people, um, the, the the ones who just think, you know what, it's men's fault. They're the reason why this, that we are not happy. Screw those guys. Those are not the people to listen to. And although this might seem counter to the movement or counter to me getting behind the movement, I do think that there's just some things women are better at than men. 
and vice versa. It depends. It depends on the person. That's why I said some things. Yeah, but the thing is, though, is um, something you have to remember is that you can identify it, though, as the gender. You have to identify it as the person. That person happens to be better than that than this guy. Or this person by this person. Not every yeah, woman is good at cooking. That. Not every guy is good at cooking either. If if a woman is better, yeah, better, I look at you and I look at her and I'm like, yeah, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> if 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 the if uh, a man and woman are together and the woman just happens to be a better cook than the guy and that's why she's often cooking the meals, then that's because she happens to be a better cook, not because she's a woman. Yeah, I can see that. You know, if a guy fixes um does all the yard work um because the girl doesn't really know how to do that, that's because the guy happens to know how to do it, not because he's a guy. Yeah. Right? You just work within your own skill set. Okay? So, in other words, to say that there are some things women are just better at than men, as a default, is wrong. It's just wrong. It just depends on the person. Okay? Yeah. Even if you say, like, well, women have skinnier hands, so that means they can do these certain things better. No, no, Not I've all seen, women I've have skinnier some, hands. I've seen some women with some, uh, some really big old hands, dude. Exactly. And I've seen guys with really small hands. That's yeah, what I mean. You it, just it, can't it, go by it, that. It's like, bro, if you could, like, palm a basketball, <laughs> you know you've got a gigantic hand. Exactly, man. So. Exactly. So you just you just can't go by the gender. It's just by person to person. Well, they just happen to have it, that skill set. In my viewpoint, anyway... In order for feminism to obtain the actual equality that it's it's striving to achieve, mm -hmm. then we have to remove gender expectations. Yep. And we have to remove gender stereotypes. Mm -hmm. If you can remove those two things, then ideally, um, well, part feminism of it will obtain its actual goal. Well, part of it is. Uh, going actually the, the lawful way. Like, for example, if there was like an ERA 2.0, that should be passed. You know what the ERA is, right? No. The ERA stands for Equal Equal Rights Amendment. And what it said is that in the workplace, a woman cannot be treated differently than a man. That did not pass. And okay. it's because of that, that's why, like, say, you and your wife could have the exact same job and have the exact same experience, but she'll get paid less. Okay. Okay. And that's legal right now. Okay. Well, I think you should be paid what you're worth. Exactly. But the thing is, though, is that a woman with the same experiences and, and, and skill set and qualifications as a man will get paid less. It's, just, it's been statistically proven. Yeah. Now, that's, just, that's not saying every company does that. And it's not saying that every company has a mandate saying that they have to. Uh, mandate. Yeah, sure. <laughs> we'll mandate whatever. That's oh, that mandate. Um, one thing. <laughs> one thing that that more extreme feminists like to do is they go, "Why does everything revolve around the on the word man? Uh, it should be woman." It's like that's stupid. That that's stupid. stupid. That's stupid. Jesus. That's Christ. stupid. Also, technically, even if you make it like woman, that's man is still in there, so it doesn't yep. make any sense. But the point is, though, is that um. No, there's no mandate for you doing it, but a lot of companies can get away with it. And corporations are already jacked up already as it is, so if they have an excuse to, excuse to, they will. Yeah. So there you go. It's like, we can save money by just hiring a woman because we can pay her less. Yeah. And that's the other thing, too. Some women will just get hired just because they're women. That's not fair to men. <laughs> because then they can pay them less. That, See, so it, it goes both ways, dude. It really does. <laughs> but to get back to how we originally got here, they were saying that video was um, disgraceful to women, and Nicki Minaj says that it's a feminist uh, uh, expression of hers because she can, she's in control, and she's not being told by a man to do it and everything, and and it's empowering for her to be this sexual. Like I said, representation is sub is is comparative. Because of this, though, here's the thing: every woman in entertainment expresses her f her her f her freedom, her her power through sexuality. Yeah. Therefore, there are no there are no examples of the alternative. Which means 
this is what everyone is expecting. Which means it doesn't really work as being empowering because there's no other example of, of any other form of it. And therefore, it is now what is expected of you. Yeah. And then we, therefore, we have, once again, people basically showing you this is the only way to do it. And therefore, now you have other people telling you what you have to do again. So it accomplishes nothing. Yeah. Now, what this shows in terms of a race thing is you have to tell all the stories. You can't have just nothing but gangbanger stories for Mexicans. Because yeah. then there's no other alternative of what a Mexican can be. Yeah. The only way that doesn't show as a stereotype of a Mexican gangbanger is if you have other examples showing other examples of Mexicans. Yeah. And that's what I mean by that. You can then have the story of the Mexican gangbanger and then have it not be be the stereotype and actually have it empowering and show like this is the life that they have to live because they're low income or whatever and have it be empowering yeah but because there's no other example now it's not empowering and that's why it's important to have more than just one story yeah no, I agree with you and that was the point I was trying to make about that huh. Huh. um like for example, in other words, Nicki, Mina Nicki Minaj is actually correct that her video is, is empowering for women if there were other examples of how to be empowering. But there really isn't. Yeah. So... There you go. Um... One thing that pisses me off, um... You know why I don't like Taylor Swift? Yeah. Um, the main reason why I don't like Taylor Swift is I don't like her music, and I don't like that everyone thinks she's the next messiah for women. Yeah. Because she's not. However, a lot of her music revolves around her getting to be okay from getting over her boyfriend or being crazy over her boyfriend, or it always involves around a boyfriend. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This would be empowering for women if there were another example. But there isn't. Instead, all you have is a woman basically basing her state of mind around a man. Yeah. That's why it doesn't work. Otherwise, it would be. There's obviously very much an empowerment of being in a relationship, getting badly hurt, and then still being able to move on from it. Yeah, that works from a man's standpoint, um, point of view as well. Oh, absolutely, but we can't talk but, about it without being labeled something that we don't want to be. Exactly. Like, but, if I had to admit something, I'm a very infeminate male. Like, I'm fucking sensitive. It's a thing. I deal with it. You now, nah, hang on. There's a thing though. That right there is 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 not good for your gender though. It's offensive yeah. because you are a feminine male. Yeah. You are just a man, because guess what? Shocker, men have emotions. That's not a, f a, f a female quality. We had them from the beginning. Yeah. You're just a guy. Yeah. That's it. No, it's not I feel, I believe. There you go. I can... I was like... I've been trying to jump over this all the time. Like, I, I don't know why <laughs> fucking... All these years, I fucking just didn't pay attention to, oh shit, you know, I, I don't have to jump over it like a dumbass. Just mm. fucking, you know, like, walk through the son of a bitch. <laughs> but no, dude, like, yeah, and that's the way I really do feel about it, is that I'm all down for the equality. But that equality really has to be just that. Mm. Equal. Well, you know, I, I feel that, and I agree with that, but I also know that... You know, it, it, there's steps. Oh, no, absolutely. Because, you know, that whole idea is ingrained in us. Yeah. It's ingrained in our culture and everything. From day one, it's like, you're a boy, here's the color blue. You're a girl, here's pink. Exactly. Go to the child toy section, the girls get uh, little play stoves, and they get uh, and, uh, little mommy and me dolls, and then yeah. uh, the guys, they get the lawn mowers and everything like that. You know what's always something that's always weirded me out about that? What's that? Why is a doll that pisses and shits fun? I don't care if you want to be a mother. 
That's not the fun part. Well, training for anything's never been fun. <laughs> I mean, if I had to put a little comic relief on it, but I mean, no, I, I can see what you're saying. That's not the fun part. That's not at all the fun part. I mean, it's it. Okay, it sucks that that, that that's what um, are you're taught from from such a young age. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing particularly wrong with wanting to be a parent. That's fine. Oh, yeah. And that's why I would say we'll market it to both uh, uh, boys and girls. Mm -hmm. But just from a practical standpoint, why is the pissing and shitting what's being promoted? That's not fun. Some people are just into that, dude. And that's trained into us because that's what we're given. <laughs> At least little girls are. Well, I don't know, dude. It's like I was it's like I was telling them, dude. It's like, okay, if we ever have kids, you know... Bullshit. Training for video games is fun. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that, that's fair. That's fair. That's that's just playing video games, though. That's <laughs> but, um... <clears throat> nah, dude. Like, seriously, it's like I was telling her. If we ever had a daughter, for example, mm -hmm. I would want our daughter to have a choice. Sure. And, and the kid, the same thing. Just get uh, different I, colored shit. If I, if I had a boy, it'd be the same thing, dude. My only mandatories for the kids are you're going to be enrolled in extracurriculars because I know how hard real life is. And you're taking martial arts because you're going to know how to defend yourself. Uh, let them let them pick. Some just will not like that. No, th that's fine. But I mean, for the most part, though, everything about their lives is choice. Yeah, just, uh, just just give them the choice. I mean, I can kind of get behind the extracurricular, but just let them choose what it is and don't overload them. Oh no, exactly. Yeah, that's not. I, I don't. I personally don't think that's overloading. You should you should know how to defend yourself. That's it. I'm not saying you have to master it. I'm saying you have to at least know when fucking if you're if someone's hurting you to defend. Like yourself. you take a few classes so you know a few moves and then call it a day. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Oh, no, I'm not saying you have to stick with it and be like a Grandmaster fucking black belt or anything like that. No, it's yeah. just, here's the basics, dude. Especially with with, with uh, a girl. It's like, hey, dude, guy comes up, fucking tries to roll you. No, nope, with you both. Again, shit. again, it's ingrained in you for both. It doesn't matter. Uh, no, It's ingrained in you. <laughs> until until we, men can safely go, I was raped and no, me being erect doesn't count as me giving consent. Then I'll gladly get behind that statement. Yeah, but you have to treat it as if it's true so that it will become true. Oh, that's such a bullshit policy. What? No, that is. That is like this. That's like the most cop out thing I've ever fucking heard. You have to act like it's already in, in place so that it eventually will become it. That's that like that's like telling somebody pray hard enough and it'll happen. No, but you're actually doing something about it. Pray doesn't do shit. That's just hoping it but, happens. Okay, you're actually doing that towards it. To a, re a heavy religious person, that does everything. Yeah, but it we doesn't actually it like physically it so does it something. <laughs> like, but I'm not trying to be a dick, dude. I'm just making sure, like, you know, I understand the concept of what you're telling me. Yeah, but because you're not actually doing. You're just hoping. The other way isn't hoping. You're actually doing something about it. Yeah, but to the religious person, actually getting down and praying and doing what it is that they do is doing something. That's not, and you know it. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> you don't have to fucking tell me that. I can understand. I was like, okay, would you please help this out? And my, I have faith in God, and I would like His assistance. I can even get behind that, but you gotta do something yourself. Yeah, I agree with you. I hope I get this job. I'm gonna pray to God to that I get this job, and then you do fuck all about it. You're not getting it. Yeah. You pray to God to to help you get this job, and then you go the next day to your interview, or you do something to impress the 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 person who's hiring. Sure, then that's fine. But you have to actually do something about it. At that point, then you're just hoping for the luck, which that's fine because luck is luck sometimes. <laughs> yeah, luck's luck. But other than that, yeah. The other way is it's it's true though. You're actually doing something about it though. You're going, you know, I'm treating it so you know, so it's no different between a man or a woman that you know one might get hassled more than the other to the point so that it actually becomes that. Yeah. And you're actually doing about something about it by training them for the same reasons. Yeah. There you go. So. Yeah. 
Oh man, things really get heated, don't they? <laughs> sure. Dude, it was a big subject that I wrote about. I actually wrote about this for people who don't know. I wrote about this and um, one of um, one of my posts was on GiantBomb.com and right now I have over 150 comments on it. It's the highest commented article I've ever had. By a lot. My last previous one was uh, just 50. So it's tripled it. It's a big issue, but part of me thinks that's why Polygon published it. Because it caused a lot of controversy and caused a lot of people oh, to talk about it. Shit. Yeah, that's true. Alright, well that'll do it for this week. Uh, we hope Good you guys try. like, subscribe. Now hit us up.